Greetings everybody and welcome to the next episode of Blast Off. How are you doing? Is everything okay with you? Is everything? Bit of an extreme close-up. Everything's okay with me. Hope you're tickety-boo today. So, what are we going to do today? Well, let's see how far we've got on Mr. Quest book. Let's have a look at this. Uh... On the first one, we have got most of this brass done. Thank the heavenly Lord above. There's still some uh, little tools to do, but I'm not so keen on doing them in a rush, really. Maybe need to look at the Batania. Still got those to hammer out. Got my usual keeping fit reward, but I'll, I'll leave that there. And that's that's pretty much running out of uh, running out of things to do on this one. Over to polluted sea. We have got fish eggs and the fish is completed. We need the electronic fishing rod, which is a bit of a pain as I believe. Let me just have a quick look at that electronic fishing rod. I think I've looked at this before. RF fishing rod. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, this is the titanium. Oh, oh it all comes flooding back. Yeah, this is something I need to look at because I need to melt down titanium, put a stick in it to get that. Then I need to melt down fish and put them in, put that in there. Oh, don't get me started with barry culture. Please don't get me started. Please, I beg of you. Anyway, let's let's move away from that one. Although we have got here, we've got natural gas, which we're going to do today. Which is why I've got this uh, this little pump down here, and this this fella, this air pump. There he is. So we're going to go and find a gas pocket and see if we can pump some of that out into one of these tanks. And I believe what else have we got? Oh yeah, we've got the QED, the uh, quite expensive or whatever it's called, quantum entanglement doohickey. You go into that. If you look at it. It changes. Oh, it's not changing now. It's calling me a liar. But yeah, you come back and look at that another time, and it usually says, "Oh, there you go, quantum energy device." Keeps changing. Oh yes, I've also updated in here. We now have auto cobble because I was tired of sitting here plonking away. So I made the pluck breaker, uh, which is quite an easy little recipe. I'll just go and show you that. Let's get rid of that, that fishing thing. Block breaker. Now, you can do it one of two ways. You can go down the quadruple compressed cobblestone, which is quite ridiculous if you think about it. You need 5 times 6,561 cobblestone. That is a lot of cobblestone. It's probably about 32,000 cobble. That's quite a lot. And also a block of diamond, quite expensive. But luckily, because I've got my little uh, mob farm down here, down there it is down there. Uh, one of the mobs happened to drop a diamond pickaxe, which was very kind of it, and I was able to make the block breaker. So, pop that over here. And what I've got behind here is on this side. I've got water two blocks away. And up there, I've got lava that drops down and creates cobble. As soon as water hits lava, it creates cobble. Let's see if we can see in here. You can just about... Oh, no, nope, try that again. You can just about see it working in there. Can't stay too close because if you look at my thermometer down the bottom left, I'm going to get heat stroke. So I need to back out of the room a little. What this does is this block breaker just requires a redstone signal. It hasn't got a GUI, so you can't tell it what to do. And all I've got is up here, I've got a vacuum hopper that's pumping cobble into this chest. It's not a bad speed, you know, it ticks away. Ticks away nicely. Saves me doing the job. So let's get out of here before I get heat struck. So what else have we got? We've been down there, you've seen that. Ooh, I tell you what I've got as well. I thought I got a couple of, well I rescued a couple of villages. Now these were zombie villages which if you give them 
Oh, what's the portion now? Portion of weakness, and yeah, it's just a portion of weakness and a golden apple. Uh, they will start shaking uncontrollably, and then after about five minutes, they will turn into a villager or one of these. These are new. Uh, this is part of Minecraft Comes Alive mod. You can actually get little NPCs that will talk to you. And if you uh, right click on them, you can get them to interact. Uh, you've even got special options. You can divorce them and have babies with them. How bizarre is that? Please leave a comment if you do want me to get married to this woman. Uh, and we'll see if we can have children and they will no doubt die in this barren wasteland. Uh, and it'll be your fault. But you know, other things you can do is you can trade with them, set a home, ride horse, get them to follow you. But there are, if you don't pay attention to them, as you can see up here, you've got mood, passive, trait, fun. If you don't pay attention to them, then the mood can turn ugly and they can start punching you. So domestic bliss is ahead for me, I think. Uh, the other things we can do is we can do normal villager trades with them. So at the moment, as you can see, I've already traded a few times with her and uh, got her all the way up to a diamond, no, glowstone, that's it. So for one emerald, I can get three glowstone, which is not a bad deal, not a bad deal at all. Some of them are quite terrible, some of these deals. Like that's not a good one at all. One of those for three of them, terrible. Or you can go see the normal villager who you can trade with. This guy is giving me uh, pneumatocraft stuff, so we've got PC blueprints, which is quite a good little bit pricey, a little bit, but not too much. I have no idea what these do, these viruses uh, and worms. I think it's to do with when you program, because there is a program thing in here with pneumatocraft. Let's see if I can uh, find it. At new mat there we go if ever you want to know what any mod does just uh, put the at sign and then the beginning of the mod because I can't spell pneumatic craft pneumatic craft there you go I can't even say it properly let alone type it so if you just put the start of it in there it will just show you just that mod so in here we do have there it is a programmer now I know that there's drones in pneumatic craft uh, and I can't see them on here, but they are here. I have seen them before. There they are. Little drones that you charge up and you can use programming language, like this programming puzzle. Uh, you can use these. These are like logic gates, like, you know, like flow charts. Go over there, pick up this, come back. So you can basically program these drones to go and do some farming or do some killing for you. And that's all through this programmer. Now that is rather technical stuff and I'm sure I will get to that at some point down the road because I quite like the idea of playing with these drones. Now see if I can get pressure uh, to work, uh, to keep automated over there. So yeah, I've got two little friends. Uh, Go on, say it. Say it. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, so I've got two little friends here. Uh, I may get more. I have a little trap upstairs where uh, I basically have to sit on the wall and wait for night to come and then find a, a zombie villager which is very hard to separate from the rest of them. So I have killed about three or four of these before I've even got one. So it's not an easy task but hey ho, I'm sure we will do that at some point. Down here is the same as before. I've just got some pneumatocraft plants planting down here. The ender plants need endstone. I'm, I was kind of hoping, I dug this pit, hoping that squids would appear, but they haven't. Now, I'm wondering if I need a 5x5. Five five. Not quite sure. I mean, this is a 3x3x5, three by three by something like that. I was hoping that they might appear. They haven't as yet, which is, oh, it's not too bad. But uh, I was just wondering if I could trap squids. And I've got a spare area on there. Don't need it as yet. Let's go see how my apples are doing. Oh, I've just got to stack there. It just sits here happily. It's the endermen have been in here, relocating my dirt. How very dare they. Let me just pop that back. If I can find out where that dirt's just gone. Has it gone completely because I didn't use a shovel? 
Well, that's not, oh, there it is. It's somewhere across the road. Pop that there. So yeah, Enderman pop in here, nick my dirt, and then zap off through the walls. Very nice of them. Bless them. Bless their little dark hearts. So, what, what else are we going to do? Well, as I say, we're going to go find some natural gas. We're also... I'm going to take you over, uh, as I promised, and and show you the city. Uh, the big city that uh, I stumbled across over this side here. Uh, so we are going to go and see that. Uh, oh yeah, I've also got a couple of little survivalist generators. Very nice little generators, just run on coal, since I've got quite a lot of coal. They just tick away. I think they give uh, 5 RF per tick, it's something really small but it ticks away there and it's slowly filling up these cells as you can see they're all starting to turn pink now slowly but surely getting some juice back into the spatial IO and when I finally get around to using it and I think that's it so what I shall do is uh, in fact let me just pop outside I was just gonna do a cut there but I'm not going to let me just uh, Oh, that's it. Step on the right thing. There we go. I've also put in this here. A uh, little XP drain. Because I'm finding I'm getting a lot of XP. And I don't want to waste it. Ooh, something keeps nudging me. I think it's the eye fit. Keeps giving me something. Uh, I think it's a health boost. But it has to pinch me to do it. Which is why I keep twitching. So I've got I've got this, so I just basically stand on this and it drains off into these tanks in the floor. I've extended extended these tanks uh, as they filled up. I mean at the moment they're filled, they're not actually taking any XP from me. But if I wanted to get some levels, I can just right click on there as you can see my levels are going up. Stand back on this drain, they go back down again. I just thought it was a nice way of collecting uh ooh, sounds like a meteor's on its way. Just a nice way of collecting XP. So, well, it just happens to be darkness out here, which is never a good thing. Uh, never a good thing at all. Nothing much has changed out here. Everything's still the same. Let me just check on on the fish trap. Oh, lily pads. Um, oh, that was silly. Let's try not to jump out there. Uh, yeah, so nothing much has changed out here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to sleep and then uh, I shall rejoin you uh, when I go over to the city over that way. But first, let me just go and sleep. Sleep it off. Let's go and put this fish away first. Ooh, bit of lag. What's Minecraft without a bit of lag? As you can see, I'm getting quite a quite an amount of fish now. Um, let's bin some of this stuff. Don't want that. I'll keep the lily pad. What the heck? No idea where I'm going to put it. I'll put it with the rest of them, and then drop the leather off in there. Getting quite a healthy stock. Also, getting quite a healthy stock of uh, wither skulls. So we may be able to spawn a wither soon. How fun is that going to be? Yes. It's going to be lots of fun, isn't it? Yeah, I will die. No doubt. No doubt about it. Ooh, missing a fish. Pop that in there. And yeah, so I think that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly fall asleep. Sleep the night away. It's not that long. Uh, and then I shall re- if I can find my bed. I always get lost. I may have to signpost it in here. I keep having senior moments. So I'm just going to go to sleep, and then I'll see you shortly. So welcome back. We're nearly at the village. Oh, it's been a, a meteor here. Should I should I have a dig while I'm here? Let's see if I can get anything. Probably won't be able to, but you never know. Let's just have a dig away. Oh, is it that one that I dig these with? That one that I dig these with, I think. No, getting nothing. Get stuff out of them, usual things. I mean, this has got fortune on it, uh, fortune efficiency. So it's rather a good little thing. But let's pop that away. Let's actually just clear some of this inventory before I get close 
to that over there. As you can see, look what I found. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. A rather big city. Now, each of these houses uh, has loads of festive creepers in them that spit uh, TNT at you, which is never good. And in the middle there that you can see, above there, is a, I think there's a big gas tower, gas spawner up there. And down here, there's some kind of... I don't know what they are, like rock creature spawners or something. They're down here somewhere. Oop, you can hear them. There they go. Blowing up. Uh, yeah, these... Oh God, it's just chaos. Uh, these houses generally always explode. Uh, oh, moonwalking. Uh, these, they always generally explode because, as I say, they are full of creepers. You can see one of my little bridges there that I've uh, come across. Oh, look. This is a, 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 a oh, there are the big obsidian colossus. The good thing is that they hate mobs, so they can help me. Uh, whereas that one that's got a spawner on his head, so he actually spawns. Uh, that is, but as you can see on the map, if you look at the map on the top, top right, if I just dispose of this fella, you can see all the little red dots and all the yellow dots, and they're all mobs. So there's quite a lot of activity going on in there. Uh, I should really go in and torch it up. But I don't think... Oh, I've got glowstone knocks. Don't really think I want to get too close to it. There's also a monster in here somewhere. As you can see the little yellow dot. And they usually spring out and get me. Let's see if I can get his attention. See, look at that. You hit them for two. They've got 500 HP. I will be here a while. Let's get that creeper. Just for fun. Uh, can't, and even if you hit them, I mean, this is quite a good sword. And I'm slowly hitting for three. So these guys are best to avoid. Until I can figure out some way of dispatching them a bit quicker. But unfortunately, the longer you stay here, the, the more they spawn. Which is never easy. So let me just quickly have a scan around. And I'll take you inside one of these houses. Now, they usually have spawners in the floor. This is why I've dug the floor up. But there's usually spawners. Let me show that down. Spawners in the floor, spawners in the roof. It's dark up there, there's spawners up there. There's not very much in here. Uh, some of them there are, I mean you can get anvils, I mean that's a very damaged anvil, but at least you can get something. Uh, but you mainly get blown the heck up as soon as you go into these things. So let's, let's just have a look what's about. They look like they've got bad backs, oh bless them. Come on, show me your bad back. I know how you feel my friend. So let's just have a nose into one of these. Wonder if I've been in here. Looks like I have because I've blocked the door. Let's have a little dig in. Yeah, I've dug into this one. Because this is the way I usually go in. I usually come in this way and I destroy all the spawners in here and then climb up. This is one of the bigger houses. This has different levels to it. Uh, so let's just pop up and have a look upstairs. Hopefully I won't die. That's if I can even climb a ladder. That, that will be good. Minecraft 101. So you can get beds over here, so it's not too bad once you get over this side. Uh, these are just some things I've dropped off. Ooh, the other quartz. Yeah, I can send these back now. Ooh, joy. And uh, brick, send that back, send that back. Send that back. Uh, not too bothered about them. So let's just send those back while I remember. So yeah, while you're over here, you've got beds, so you can also get bits of carpet. It's quite good little materials. There's you know some grey wool for smoke there, so it's not too bad resource-wise. You can get some quite good resources. This is where I got all my end stone in the house. So you just have a bit of a nibble around and take the bits that you want and disregard the rest. Uh, 
there's nothing up there. There usually is a spawner right in the middle up there as well. It drops creepers on you, which is nice. Nice. So let's just pop out of here. So where else can I go that I maybe haven't gone? What's that? Is that wool? Oh, it's grey carpet. So let's just have a look. That's one way of doing it. Let's have a look over here. Has this one been done? Just have a peek a -rooney. Always looking around as well. Because I can't quite remember. I kind of got turned around. Can't remember if I've been in this one. I mean, it may look like I have, but you'd be surprised. You can get into these houses and some of them are already destroyed. Oops, coming night time. I need to sleep. Because being out here is not good. Go sleep, go sleep, go sleep. Let's hope there's beds up here. Please let there be beds up here. Yeah, there's beds up here. So let's just, uh, come on, sleep now. Sleep the sleep of the just. Come on, sun go down. Sun go down now, please. There we go. Because it's not very nice being uh, out here in the sunshine, uh, in, the, in the nighttime. Bad things can happen. Just bob down and go back outside again. Now, this one looks like it's got lots of things in it, according to the map. I definitely don't think I've been in this one, although I don't want to go around there because I'll attract the uh, the guys with the bad backs. Uh, so let me just see if I can pop in here. Oh yes, this would be obsidian, wouldn't it? Trust me to pick one of the hardest blocks in the game. Let's just have a quick look. As you can see, it's very dark and things, they're like these like little herobrines, if you look at them, uh, of course they're not going to come over to me now are they? But they're called bound souls uh, and they look like herobrine. So yeah, those that, that said that herobrine does not exist, look, look, you can see the eyes, the shifty eyes, but you can't see anything now. Uh, just make sure I'm not being ganged up on from behind. Wonder if I can uh, get one of them's attention. Terrible shot. Try no. Oh dear, terrible shot. Try and just get that one on the side of the head. Nope, it's not going to happen. Let's uh, let's dig underneath. Let's see if there's anything under here that we want to get rid of. The best way of searching for spawners. They usually are just underground. And nothing here at the moment. I'm not going to dig down there, just in case one of them falls down. They usually are. See, this is hollow on this side. They're usually under here somewhere. That's there, so... Usually they can be under here. Oh, look, little Herobrine. Uh, are you gonna look down? No? Oh, okay. Uh, what did I just pick up then? Zombie jerky. So let's go in from the top. Look, see, look, Herobrine. See, look. See, nobody believes me. There they are. Look at that shifty eyes. Straight to the head. So let's go upstairs and see what we can see. Now, let's use my dev null just to bounce to the top. Come on. Why do I need to go just a bit more? Let's just jump in here. Bit of a cheaty way, but... Eh ho! Now, you can still hear things. As you can see up there, it's pitch black. And there's things up there, look. Let me just jump up here as well. Yep, here we go. Anything else? Yeah, you can just see that spawner that was up there then. The spawner just up here somewhere. I can see. Where are you? I just saw you spawn. I know you're up there. I saw you spawn. 
That's a nasty one. We don't want that. Yeah, we don't want that. Here we go. Silliness. You done? Now I've got loads of blocks floating around my head. Send beds back, all kinds of rubbish. Have you done? You killed yourself? No, 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 you haven't. Get out, get out of the way. Those are the worst things in this game. And something's attacking me. You the guy I poked earlier? Yeah, probably. These things are the worst. I mean, they're called festive creepers, and all they do is just spit TNT at you. They are the worst, and they just drop that junk. So yeah, that's what they do. They oop, what was that? They just blow everything up, and then make you, especially if you've got your magnet on, pick up loads of junky junk. Stuff you don't need. Horrible stuff. Let's just poke our face in here. Let's show our face to these little things. I wonder where the spawner is for these. Because these are just going to constantly spawn. Oh, there's a chasm there as well. That's not good. That's like a, a hole down to bedrock. Stick my nose over there. There's a hole down to bedrock down there. With oil at the bottom. Ooh, uh, uh, get away. Oh, scared me then. One to the eye. Just for good luck. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get rid of these. Let me put my F7 on so I can see where that's a ghostly pickaxe coming towards me. A ghostly sword. Get rid of that. If I can hit it. There we go. So, as long as I can get rid of the reds, you're going to fall down there, aren't you? No, you're not going to fall down. No, you fall down now? No? Okay. Uh, spawning from somewhere over there. I'm sure of this. Sp definitely spawning from inside this building. So, I wonder. Let me just pop in here. Just pop a light down there. I think they are spawning from here somewhere. Yeah, look, you can see that thing spinning there. That's telling me that there's a spawner here. Let's have a dig in. Let's see what this is. Ah, there we go. Let's get rid of you. Do without you spawning. Uh, nothing I can do with those guys out there at the moment. Let's just have a look. This is all I'll be in this house, haven't I? Get out of there. What I need to do is I just need to start lighting this over here, otherwise I'm always gonna have problems. So run around, do the run around. Do the do the run around. Uh ooh, uh ooh, no, no, yep, no, yep, no, yep, yep, no. Oh, what that what's got hold of me? Get off, get off, get off. Oh those little things they pick you up. Only certain zombies. I don't know which ones they are. They, they just say zombie. But uh, yeah, they pick you up. Uh, oh, thank you for that. Oh, uh, thank you. Go on, look out. Look out behind you. That's it, you get them, big man. Uh, oh, God. See, everything starts spawning as soon as you come close. The problem is, is, you set down these lights, and as soon as you go away, there'll be an explosion and it'll blow all your lights up. Um, which is a bit of a pain, I have to say. So let's just roll around this side, one in there. I bet there's something in here. Because as you can see, there's been some rather big, uh, big nasty mobs coming to say hello. Uh, aha, there's a spawner. Blazing Juggernaut. I don't like them. They don't like me. Get out, 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 get out. All the stuff flying around my face. It's just what you need. Just what you need. Flint and steel flying around your face. Get all this junk out my inventory. So, can I just pop... I've got five left. Can I... Ooh, no, that's a chasm. 
Can I do the dance of love and get in there quickly? Now being attacked. I very much doubt it. Let's just bob one down there and get one in there. Get out. Because as you can see, there's quite a lot of bad back creatures in there. It's like an old folks home. Anybody need to wee? Anybody? Vitamins? Need a wee? Vitamins? Ooh, alright. Moody. Just pop one round here. Another one there. Into the bear's nest. And get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Ooh, skin of teeth. Skin of teeth. Oh, crikey. So yeah, that's the... Uh, that's the rather nasty city area. Let me turn F7 off. The rather nasty, nasty city area. And I was going to go do some air pumping, but I think we've run out of time on this one. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out enormously on this very, very lonely, hellish world uh, that I'm currently subjecting myself to. It's like a prison sentence being on here. So, liking and subscribe gets me parole. So as the sun goes down, I will bid you farewell. Uh, I will see you on the flip side. Much love. Fart bubbles coming out from What an ending. Jeez.